Job done by Anthony Joshua. Otto Walling slowly broken down over five very one-sided rounds. It looks like AJ caught him with a left hook and really cracked the side of his face. Wally went back to his corner with Joey Gamash. The referee walked over and they waved it off. It was really one-sided. AJ boxed incredibly well, especially considering that just before his ring walk, Deontay Wilder got beat and that nine-figure fight, two-fight deal that would have started on March 9th, went up in smoke. He talks about it there. He said that if he wanted to, he could really slaughter Deontay because of all the trash talk he's given him this week. He said he took the higher ground. He hopes Wilder come back. And who knows, we might still see the fight. But AJ and Ben Davison looked like a great fight, a great team. From the minute he walked out, there was none of this pouring and, 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 and worrying. He was crisp, he was sharp. He nullified Wallin's jab. He drove right hands in all the time, bust his nose early on. On, and then finally broke him down with a big left hook. He sounds great, he looked good. The Ben Davidson partnership is new and exciting. You see, if Andy Brew is sitting over there, maybe that's who AJ fights next. If Deontay Wilder, looking like a retirement talk in there, maybe he's gone and AJ now needs to find another dance partner for some big fights in 2024. I need some blessing because really this guy is about championships. He wants to become a great time heavyweight world champion.